Bible Word of the Day Abraham's Bosom Hades, Paradise Side of Hades Let's discuss about Abraham's Bosom. The Bible tells us there is an intermediary place used before the death of Jesus on the cross and his resurrection. That place is called Sheol in the Hebrew or Hades in the Greek. And it was divided into two sides or halves. There was the paradise side of Hades called Abraham's bosom this was where the Old Testament saints went prior to the death of Jesus on the cross. And the other was the judgment side where those bound for hell await their final destination. When Jesus died the Bible tells us he descended into Hades and brought those Old Testament saints safe in Abraham's bosom into heaven. In addition elsewhere in the New Testament we are told that Sheol or Hades is a temporary place. A holding cell if you will where the souls of those bound for hell are kept as they await their final judgment. Now there is a clear and important distinction between the two. Hell, which is also called the lake of fire, is the final permanent place of judgment for the lost. The lost are all those who rejected Jesus and God's grace. Hades is a temporary place where they are currently held until they face God's great white throne of judgment after which they will be cast into the lake of fire. There was a certain rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. But there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, full of sores, who was laid at his gate, desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. So it was that the beggar died, and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And being in torments in Hades, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. Then he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things, but now he is comforted and you are tormented. And besides all this, between us and you there is a great gulf fixed, so that those who want to pass from here to you cannot, nor can those from there pass to us. Gospel of Luke 16 verses 19-26